from Shalom Acres. Wanna wanna give you an opportunity to look at rainwater collection. If you've uh, you've seen it on a couple of our other videos as far as the chicken watering system and other pieces that we've done around the homestead, because it's how we feed our sheep, um, our cows, and or, I'm sorry, not feed, but it's actually how we water our sheep, how we water our cows and our chickens. But we also have these other totes here that come off of our house, and we use that to water our garden. So these totes that I'm sitting in front of right now are uh, three large totes, it's about 800 gallons, and we have those set up on one, one guttering. Pretty simple system here, you just, we just take a black corrugated pipe to fill it, and then from there, the way it fills on the top, it leaves about a half inch gap all the way around, so it allows plenty of air out, so it's a natural vent, and allows um, you know, the water, water to fill up. The piece that we've done here, if you look at the bottom down here, we've actually got all three of these totes open right now, but they're all connected by a PVC pipe. So that PVC pipe just comes over and then allows us to run together. So we fill off of one, but then all three get filled just because of the way we keep the valves open on the bottom. And what we do after that is we've just got a simple garden connection that allows us then to go ahead and, and uh, use that to go ahead and water our plants. One thing that we've done in the past, um, haven't done it yet this year, but in the past on areas where we know that we're just going to be free, free flowing uh, our gutters into a hose, what we do is we actually go down to like a creek or a pond or something like that and we'll catch some snails. Snails do wonderful in these. They actually take off a lot of the algae growth and other items in there. Just, uh, just truly good. But in a minute I'll show you a tote that we've actually had for a year and a half that was not open uh, with rainwater. And it'll be amazing um, to me. It's uh, as clear as you know distilled water. It's it's been great. So around the homestead, we've actually got nine of these hooked up to uh, our house, our gutters, and we have a total of 14. And right now we were blessed with great rainfall last night, and we've also had some rainfall through the winter. So we've got actually all those uh, totes are 100% full. So we're feeling great. Gardens uh, upon us already been harvesting different items. We've been harvesting our carrots, lettuce, um, got a bunch of strawberries, also had some asparagus. So it's been so far a really good season. We want to make sure we've got rainwater to, uh, to go ahead and water our, our plants as we need it. This is Wiggles. I think you've met her in another video. She's definitely loving. Um, she's a great little farm dog for us. So I'm going to go walk over to another tote that we've had um, with that's been capped for about a year and a half and we'll talk about that real quick. So this is the tote I was talking about. We've had water in this tote for about a year and a half. What we've done is off of our major gutters on the house, we go ahead and set up actually, you know, the totes right there. But then whenever it comes to time where we know there's going to be extra rainfall and our totes are already open, um, are already full. So we actually then, because we're running downhill, and I'm sure many of you are in the same situation, running downhill, we can actually then just take a, a garden hose, fill these full, and then strategically place them a little bit closer to where our plants are at. So right now we've actually got five extra ones filled um, compared to normal, uh, but uh, definitely good. But this one here has been filled for a year and a half. Came straight off the gutters in the house. As soon as it was, as soon as it was, uh, came down, we put it right in this tote and I put a cap right on it. In, in a year and a half, there's no algae, nothing in it. So that just goes to show, it's basically like distilled water sitting inside this tote. So from a purity standpoint, I don't think there's anything better than rainwater. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel if you'd like. And uh, shalom. Thanks.